Day 30, Elul 29, Accepting the Consequences of Our Sins. 2 Samuel 24, 10 to 17. And David's heart condemned him after he had numbered the people. So David said to the Lord, I have sinned greatly in what I have done. But now I pray, O Lord, take away the iniquity of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. Now when David arose in the morning, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and tell David, thus says the Lord, I offer you three things. Choose one of them for yourself, that I may do it to you. So Gad came to David and told him, and he said to him, Shall seven years of famine come to you in your land? Or shall you flee three months before your enemies while they pursue you? Or shall there be three days' plague in your land? Now consider and see what answer I should take back to him who sent me. And David said to Gad, I am in great distress. Please let us fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great. But do not let me fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent a plague upon Israel from the morning till the appointed time. From Dan to Beersheba, 70,000 men of the people died. And when the angel stretched out his hand over Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord relented from the destruction and said to the angel who was destroying the people, It is enough. Now restrain your hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing floor of Araunah the Jebusite. Then David spoke to the Lord when he saw the angel who was striking the people and said, Surely I have sinned and I have done wickedly. But these sheep, what have they done? Let your hand, I pray, be against me and against my father's house. Second Samuel 24, 10 to 17. Second Samuel 24, 24 to 25. Then the king said to Araunah, No, but I will surely buy it from you for a price nor will I offer burnt offerings to the Lord my God with that which costs me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for fifty shekels of silver. And David built there an altar to the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord heeded the prayers for the land, and the plague was withdrawn from Israel. Second Samuel 24 24 to 25. Our sins have consequences that may affect ourselves or others. If you break a vase, even if the owner forgives you, damage has already been done. The vase is broken. The broken glass must be cleaned, and the price must be paid for a new vase to be purchased. Sickness is an example of a possible consequence of sin. Sickness can be a trial or spiritual warfare, but other times it is God's hand for discipline, trying to draw our attention to repent of our sins and return to Him. Broken relationships, likewise, can be a trial or spiritual warfare, but other times our pride, hurtful words, and ungodly actions are part of what caused these relationships to be broken. Search your heart and look through your life. Do you see consequences of your sins or signs of discipline from God? Repent like David and pray for the Lord's mercy. Let us pray. Lord, please Help me as I look through my life and search my heart. Please forgive me of my sins 
and help me to accept the consequences of my sins. May these consequences draw me to repent and return to you. If there are sins in my life that I have not repented of, please bring them to my mind. May I not make excuses when others rebuke me. Instead, help me to humbly repent and pray before you as David did. In Yeshua's name, amen.